Hi there, this is Dan and today I'll show you three different ways of changing the font for a Mac or a Windows. So you can see this is the original font with a really strange name, Chevin W05, and it's definitely not a regular font. I'll show you how to change the name as well as the weights as well. So the first one I'm going to show you is with an app called Font Forge, and this is for a Mac or a Windows, or I guess Linux as well. And go ahead and download it if you haven't already, and you'll have downloaded a DMG file which you can open and open the Font Forge app from there. But if you plan to use this multiple times and you want to install Font Forge, then you can go to Applications and drag Font Forge into the applications, but I'm not going to do that for now. Now with Font Forge open, we can just go ahead and cancel and open the font with Font Forge. And all we need to do is we need to first of all let it load. And when it's loaded, go to Element, Font Info, and in the TTF names right there, we can change the family name. And if it's red, we just need to right click and detach from postscript names. This is Chevin Pro font and change the styles to bold. This is definitely bold font. And also change the full name to um, Chevin Bold, I would say. And I'll press on OK. And then we just need to export it to go to File, Generate Fonts, and then set the path name and then on any of these messages just go ahead and press on ok and you can see now we've got our font that has a really nice and formatted name perfect now the next one we're going to show you is with an app called font lab 8 now unfortunately this is for a mac only so if you're windows you may as well either do the uh, font forge way or skip on to the next method with a python script but first of all let's go ahead and talk about font lab 8 for a mac so if you haven't downloaded font lab 8 already then you can go to appstorrent.ru the link in the description to download it then go ahead and press on the green download link and it's the same as before you can either open it from the dmg or drag it into the applications folder but when we've got it installed we need to open the font with font lab again and when it's open we can use the shortcut command option f to show the font names okay and then all we need to do is change the family name Chevin Pro, change the weight class, width class and slope class and you don't have to put anything in other and by the way this monospaced thing is on for monospaced, off for not monospaced um, and this is certainly not a monospaced font and then for all of these other ones with really strange formatting then it's easy just to press on these kind of reload icons next to it just to generate it automatically then apply and OK and then export the font with command E and then I'll go ahead and export and when it's done, if we go ahead and see what the font is like, you can see its name is all nicely formatted just like so. Perfect! Now the last way I want to quickly show you is how to do this with the command line with terminal, okay? Now, because this is with a Python script, if you haven't got Python installed and you want to bother doing this, then you can download it from python.org slash downloads. Once again, I'll leave this in the description. So go ahead and download it. You will have downloaded a PKG for a Mac or an XE for Windows. Go ahead and follow it through once you've got it downloaded, uh, then you can carry on. Now go ahead and open the command line or terminal and you want to say Python 3, no spaces, all lowercase, uh, space, dash M, space, pip so pip all in the case space install space font name okay just like this and if we go ahead and press enter you can see it should go ahead and install it uh, it says successfully installed and basically what this is done is it's installed somebody else's package of code called font name um, to my computer so I can go ahead and use it and I've just gone and cleared my screen and then to actually execute this font name python script all we need to do is first of all cd so change directory into the folder where the fonts are installed so I'll say cd desktop because my is in the desktop and all we need to do is we need to say python3 fontname.py and then in double quotation marks the new name of the font so uh, chevin pro bold and then after that separated by a space then the path name of the font as you notice what i've done there is to actually have the space being put in terminal i've put a backslash before it okay and i go ahead and press on enter and you can see it says okay it's updated this font so now if you go ahead and open it you can see the same font that was once Chevin W05 is now Chevin Pro Bold with the weight of bold. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching. That is pretty much it. Bye bye.